really checked out the engine bay much, but I did notice that it probably has new valve cover gasket because everything is super clean. Looks like it has a newer water pump. It's got the high sparks, whatever that means, coil backs. <laughs> it's got some good stuff though. HKS um, couplers, pretty much stock. I really like the Blitz intercooler, Gretti radiator. Seems like everything you find in Cali is always like CX Racing or some eBay something. I love Japan, how they always fix up their cars with quality products. So this is what I'm doing right now. I noticed, I know this seat is gross, that's why I got a vacuum, but this was covering this seat. It's like a, a seat cover. So I noticed the corner was coming off and I peeled it off and it's like that same Tomcat style seat underneath, which is super dope. So I ripped this off. I'm gonna try and vacuum this. I am getting another seat. It's just, I rather try and sell this to Up Garage and maybe they'll take it, I don't know. We'll see, maybe they'll give me like 50 bucks for it. But it looks a lot better being this rather than that cover. So I'm gonna try and clean it real quick. All right, still bad, but much better. <laughs> Not too sure of the plans today. I think I saw a pretty cool car dealership with like a S15 Mark II and some other goodies. I might go check that out. The car shop, yeah, that's right. We're gonna go check out that the used car dealership mm -hmm. down the street. They've got some pretty good stuff, but I know it's kind of pricey. But I want to show you guys anyways. We are pulling up a couple cars here on my right hand side. We'll get a better look right here in a second. Let me park. This will kind of give you guys an idea of how much cars actually are in Japan. Because I know a lot of people complain. I mean, I sell cars for a living, so people complain all the time. Why are your cars priced like this? Some people know the market in Japan, and you know, they don't complain about prices. Usually the people who buy my cars. But this will give you guys a better idea of why my cars are not overpriced, if not the same price as these cars in Japan. So really, I ain't making that much money. <laughs> Ah, uh, fits right in. I've actually been looking for a place to wash my car and they have one right here at the dealership. A couple cool cars for sale. Let's see, we got an S15. I don't think this one had a price tag on it. This Mark II kitted, doesn't really have wheels or anything. Let's check the price. $25,000. For a Mark II. Let's see, it's got the Carl Confetti's five speed STI, another S15. This is a Soarer, I believe. $24,000 for an old school Soarer. Let's see the price tag on this. 15 grand for an STI. With Subaru fans. 27,000 for this Spec R S15, which is quite outrageous if you ask me. I mean, I know prices in Cali are outrageous as well, but it's still expensive to me. I'm like, I'm sure I can find some S15s cheaper than $27,000 in Japan, especially I don't think they're marketing to, you know, Americans, they're marketing to Japanese people. I guess that's just the going rate right nowadays. Check this one out though. 22,000 for this 180SX. Not even crazy. I mean, it looks like it was repainted. The kit's okay. Doesn't even have wheels. I mean, it has some like 15 by sixes, <laughs> Watanabe's. 22,000 guys. 350Z, $14,000. Let's see this, S2000, 21K. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're all in really good condition, but a bit outrageous on the pricing. Soar, this thing is ridiculously clean, but still, $24,000.
I think I'll pass. So I know some of you are probably like, oh, it's only 27 grand, 25 grand. You can still sell it and make money. But really, it's not. There's so many fees involved importing. Like, for example, say Mark II, right? They're asking $25,000 for this Mark II. You still have to pay 10% tax and then whatever fees to deregister or whatever you got to do. Import fees, broker fees. You know, there's so many fees you have to pay for when you're bringing your car in. So it's really not just $25,000. By the time it's landed, you're going to spend an extra, what, four, five, maybe even $6,000 on top of asking price for these cars. So there's really not much room to make a good profit, to make it worth it. I would price this Mark II at like 33 to 35K. That's my price. That's what I would sell it for. I'm gonna be into that thing almost the same amount to bring it all the way to Cali. There's really nothing here for me that I could buy to make money on. So we will continue to look. But there is deals out there. I found this thing for a very good deal. So it really all depends where you look. I just walked down this way and found this guy. I wonder what, what does that say, babe? Please come call. With so, the store manager? They already know they're asking way too much for this thing. So you gotta <laughs> consult with the store manager. <laughs> Same thing for this one. Dang, Celica's sick though with the TEs. Excuse me, I'm trying to film. Hey, I'm trying to film this car. Dang, it's got the OEM rain guards too. It's got cage. Nito Nato. Momo, hold on, baby. Yeah, this thing is mint. I would say this thing is close to like 20,000 plus, believe it or not. It's clean though. Cool, Evan. And this is the first car I ever had, believe it or not. They're asking 9,600. I had a Legacy GT, a black one, and it was so fun. This is like a spec B, it has a red interior. Not really a fan anymore, to be honest, but kind of nostalgic to see my old car. There's a bunch of these dealerships around town. Mostly in the countryside, you'll find more of these dealerships. In the city, not too many. So if you do come to Japan, look in the country, you'll find some good stuff. And what's good is everywhere you go, you get the vending machines. This one has a bunch of different boss coffee so i haven't coffee. tried this one and it's hot too okay. oh, okay. that this looks good uh, right. you guys cake. can have hot cocoa good job can i see that hot cocoa whoa it's like papa's it is fun yeah it's chocolate wait yeah. actually um Actually, I wanted to say to this video. What do you want to say to the uh, video? It was so Papa makes a lot of videos like 1,000. Papa makes a lot of videos like 1,000. Yeah, it's hot, huh? It's not that hot. All right, we're going to get out of here and go to another spot. Hopefully, we can find another spot. If not, there's always another day. My parking is getting more dialed. Perfect parking. So found this shopping plaza. It's like five stories. First floor has a full grocery store. Second, third, fourth, fifth floor. There's like bookstores, there's clothing. It's like a full on mall. It's like five minutes away from Leah's house. We're in the shoe section right now. Check these out. JDM Vans. It's gotta be worth something back home. 25 bucks. Yeah, those are cool too. How about this one? Yeah, those and are cool too. They have stars on it. Third floor, they have a book center, they have a fabric store, and the best. I'm gonna see what we can score in Daiso. Look how big this one is. It's huge. What do we got? Some ratchet wrenches for a dollar, screwdrivers. Hammers, some flap discs, drill bits, 
I actually need this just to put in my trunk. Oh, good amount of stuff, I wanna say. Need a couple things. Could use a 10 mil ratchet wrench. Sick. I don't know how long it'll last, but 10 and a 12, that's much needed. Oh, this one has a 10 and a 12 and a six and an eight. Oh, dang, I didn't even realize that. So it's a, it's a eight mil, a 10 mil, and a 12 mil, sweet. We got cleaning supplies, tire shine. Sick. Got all your glove needs. Some cushions. I actually have one of those in my car right now. The cup holders, a little trash can for the car. I actually need one of these. These things are essential. These are actually used for a purpose. I forget what the meanings are. I think this is like beginner driver. This is like elderly driver or something. I'd have to ask Leah. I spent, I think about 30 US. I'll do a little breakdown of what I scored at the dollar store, which is called Daiso. Now we are in the electronics section and they have a Tomiko section. <laughs> I already found some cool stuff. There's more 35. What are you doing? What? Look, your hako. This is a coupe. But... Dang, 34, Soar, F40, Type R, R31. Dang, they got all the gems. Celsior, EK9, FC. Still 80, Hachi. Oh, the kid is coming out. And then they have an arcade. What are these called again, babe? The claw machines? Yufo Ketcha. Yufo Ketcha. Cup noodle challenge, huh? That's pretty cool. We got ice cream, cookies. Dang, big box of my favorite chocolate. This one's about ready to go. Should try it. And then they have the super mini games. Dang, when is the last time you've seen one of those? The kids love it. We got cars too. What? Let's see. Yo, this thing moves creepy. Okay, when should I put it down? All right, now. Oh, did we win something? Let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, baby. We got so much for a dollar. <laughs> Yo, let's just stay here. Okay, mom, we'll get everything out here. There's a little bag right here. Kids are hyped. This mall is just seriously overwhelming. It's not even a mall. Is this considered a mall? Yeah. Kinda, right? Uh -huh. But it's got everything. You got arcade, bookstore, electronic store, clothes, groceries. It's probably way more. I just haven't even explored the whole place yet. What? What's going on here? All right, see you later. First Akimiku in Japan. I uh, cannot wait. Three kids. So the girls can eat as much as they want. <laughs> and you can get any of these. Harami. Harami. Let's go. We just got home. I want to do a little rundown of what I got for $30 at Daiso. Measuring tape, a little mini, flathead end Phillips, ratchet wrench, 12 and a 14, 8, 9, 10, and 12, so four. Four and one, guys. How sick is that? You got Allen wrenches, blade, vice grips, wrench, tire wax, chamois pad, tire cleaner, wheel cleaner, a set with all these inside, and a Phillips and a flathead, and a cup holder trash can. Pretty good deal for 30 bucks, not gonna lie. And all this stuff seems like pretty quality. I wanna say everything was about $2 each. It wasn't really a dollar because they are tools but they're like heavy set, decent tools. Not something that you'd find at the dollar store back home, that's for sure. Overall, satisfied. 
Daiso.